Praise the Lord, hallelujah, church. This is your brother in Christ, Prophet Okumbo Abraham Kenneth. For 12 years, I have not been able to sleep well. It felt as though somebody kept me awake. The hours of 12, 3, 6, and 9. PM, the hours of 3, 12, 9, and 6 AM. Can't sleep. Something is going on in my generation. And God brought me to the middle of it. And I say, may his name alone be praised. His name alone be praised. Scripture says, And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh that shall be saved. Except those days are shortened. I have had people who have tried to stop me from sitting in my prophetic office, from sitting in my apostolic and teaching office. They do everything they can to use the weakness of men, the failures of men, the shortcomings of men. You know how your enemies work? Why do you think they keep a record of your wrongs, of the mistakes you make? Your enemies love to keep a record of it. So that in the days when a fight may break out, uh, break out uh, excuse me, if a fight breaks out between you and them, they can use what they think is your weakness, your faults against you. But you know something about God. Our weaknesses, our failures, our woes are made perfect in Christ. There's nothing Satan would not do to discourage you from serving God. Oh no, the Bible is fake. Oh no, the Jesus is not. Uh, oh no, this. Oh no, that. Oh no, this. But I tell you the truth, child of God. You see what is going on in my generation, right? What the Holy Ghost brought to my attention through the night. My mouth cannot talk about it. Stay in prayers. This generation is heading into something very deep. The police officers in the land don't understand it. The government don't understand it. Pastors don't understand it. Only God's true prophets in the land. Not only me. There are some people out there that know what is going on. God is speaking to them constantly. In Amos chapter 3, verse 6 and verse 7. First, in Amos 3 verse 3, the Bible says, Can two walk together except they be agreed? Verse 6 and 7, Scripture says, that surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealed his secrets to his servants the prophet God continued to reveal his secrets his mind to people whom he loved see some people some men some women they will go from place to place with the intention to steal the glory of God to act like they know what God is doing. And it will bring their death. It will bring their disgrace. Because God cannot be mocked in these last days. Men will be seeking to steal God's word. So that they can use it for themselves. God will deafen their ears and blind their eyes. For it was the same God that opened the eyes of Elisha. That blinded the eyes of his servant may let it be lord even according to your will blessed be the name of the lord god is a restorer and god is a forgiver too this is thus saith the lord god bless the church amen